Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to add one more uh, underscore, double underscore method. Um, we are going to look at the double underscore string method. So, all right, let's peek back at our, at our, um, documentation so let's pull this up because this is important so let's zoom in a little bit so all right so when we did the double underscore wrapper it comes out and says that is the official string now then here we stop we stopped reading right here actually we said it return must return a string object now if the class defines a wrapper but not a double underscore string method, then the wrapper becomes the informal string. So all right, then we'll look at this. So let's let's run, let's close this down, and then we'll go back. So all right, so we did this, and we did x. My goodness, all right, React three by three. So we did this, then we do wrapper x, we get that. Now we do str, this. So that's built in into the background of Python. It says, hey, all right, I understand you want to use this, but if I don't see it, I'm going to default and go back here. So that's important. So now, and I, my goodness, did you get to see any of that? I'm trying to be fancy here. You didn't get to see any of that. So, all right, let's zoom out. Okay, so now you can see it. So I run, when I run wrapper, I get what I return. And since there is no string, a double underscore string method, I get the same thing. So this is the official and the unofficial or the informal. Let's let's look at this. It says also used as the informal. So here we are. Now, now let's come here and zoom in and read this real well. So, all right. Now we now let's look at double underscore. It is called by the string method built in and let's see see where it says it it the informal or nicely printable string representation of an object so now now let's go back and do something that's very very nice and easy to read and be able to see what we can do let's bring this up so def double underscore string double underscore self okay do I have the right size okay so, all right return your rectangle is three oops by close this out now format self dot width self dot length there we go pull this over a little bit it's all right x okay you can see that rect three by three close that out so there we go ripper x Lo and behold, str x, your rectangle is three by three. So now we take this, which can then recreate an object, which is the guidelines in the documentation. And then our str is something that is very readable. Your rectangle is three by three. Pretty simple and following the guidelines just as it states right here. Compute the informal or nicely printable 
string representation of an object. So boom. There we are. Sorry for trying to be so fancy. But now you know one more double underscore method. And you guys are just doing a really good job. And I would not have ever thought that we were ready to be here, but this is what you guys do an amazing job at helping me lead uh, this channel in the way it needs to go. So can't say thanks again. Can't say thanks enough. But um, as always, stay tuned. Um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please keep the comments, questions, or my all-time favorite, any video requests coming, and I'll knock them right out. So as always, thanks, guys. See you next time. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.